Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, and instead of showing a Minecraft Spotlight, I actually showing you an application, which is called MultiMC, which you can which you can run multiple instances of Minecraft. Like, you know, you have so many mods like Vanilla, Video Spotlight, Test Worlds, all that stuff. So, what you have to do is double click that. Or the current instance, instance, all the files downloaded. So we just manage your mods a bit better. In order to create a new instance, you just press this button, and you just name your instance. You can also change. You can add notes. You can. There's settings, and you can also put how much memory you want: the minimum memory and the maximum memory. Memory allocation. Yeah, so you have to force update in order to get the latest version. And if you are running Windows 7 64 bit, any version, you have to download the D G download GTX Sharp from the Mono website in order to run it. So, yeah, let's, sh let's show you the program. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, you can edit mods. Click that. Have a go to the Monk of Jar. Then here, mods. All you have to do is drag and drop. Remember, the top of the list will be the most. We'll install it first, and the bottom of the list will install it last. Let's start, shall we? I actually have a install mod loader. That mod. Uh, first of all, let's all zip them all. Extract here. Did it? Uh, whoops. No. What the? Never wanted to do that. Oh well. Wrong buton. Whoops. Okay. Extract to mod loader. Okay. That mod loader MP extract extract. We need to extract that extract. Uh, and do that. Other thing. Okay. And extract that too. There we go. First, put mod loader it. Can't you realize it? Really? You know. oh. Mod loader. Mod loader MP. That one's so forge. <sighs> the actual ball mod itself. Single play commands. And in the mods, we pretty much install the car mod. The macro mod, and I forgot something. Uh, where is it? Too many item, and that. There you go. And now, if you want to delete, just simply press the delete key. That should go in, and. Click OK. And play. Remember uh. my username and the password and click login. Logging in, info mods, class files, and it should work perfectly. See? Test. Worlds, crate. <sighs> Ta da! Should so you know standard. You got the car. 
Then I install the goddamn what? Uh, install. The, I think I did something wrong. Edit mods. I open this with property. Open. Ah. Is one mouse right? Eh. Once again, Roblox, please install. I would hate you so much you didn't install, and I want to shoot this other mod off. Should have installed. Why? Um, I'll be right back. Hello, Wank. I'm back, and I just forgot the problem that the mod road works was actually raw and I only accept the same file type. So, let's start again. Shall we? Now that the mod's properly installed. Play. As you see, the world works, so I'll show you in game. I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. I'm back, and I'm gonna show you the mod. All of them. So, single play commands, you know. And if you hold down Shift and you press the little squiggly line with macro, so said game the Game mode. There you go. Game mode. And time. Day. Um, two. Very, very hard. And so macro. So yeah. So hard to explain. So if you go that not to make macro file, it's hard. You know, it's really hard. I sound because they're getting used to. Now, so you press Z, easy, V, and B. There, perfect. I showed the mod itself. Let's use what wool? The actual car itself and all of these. I'll explain in a bit. So you got your standard wool. Good. Let's turn that down a bit. There we go. All down. Or test each painter does. So you got is your no matter so you press X to change right left whoops forward right forward left right left that forward right left forward exactly I'm actually missing which is the actual blah oh, there it is get get that seat out no, no. thank you good let's lay it down And I'll link all the mods including tool in the description below. So you got your standard forward, your right, your left, your forward right, be done on any block. Forward left, right left, forward right left, and forward. You got your simple middle line painter thing sideline painter thing and a crystal corner piece 
thingy. You know, same thing. Same thing, except it's in yellow. So, let's do a little road test thing. So, is that correct? Yeah, okay. They're going across the little highway. Is that the right tool? Uh, Expand this a bit. Line you can go right. See, add that you can go left only. Uh, I guess I have to. Yeah. That sucks, you know. No offense. Small road. Ah. No. It's my cr creative mode. Don't mess with me. Okay. A bit bigger. And just. I think I'm gonna go left. That would suck, actually. Then you're going. You see another path. You can only go. And you want to go left. You know, you can go as left. And use that. I'm. Bad at making roads, aren't I? So you got your car, I don't know how to do recipe, but it's damn hard. Uh. What? Oh, whoops, not that. Car. Right click, press C, get some coal. And each of them lasts for about five minutes. They're going on their own. Oh, I can only go that way. You can drive around. Although this will sink, it will stop if it goes in water, but you can change it in the config file. So, hope you enjoy this little mod spotlight and tool thingy. Uh, uh, god, no. Okay, see? Same thing, except it's yellow. See? Yellow. Show the corner piece. That's new. The C. Okay. C. Ah, come on. All right. right. There's wow. Am I? I hope you enjoyed this little episode of the tools and the mods I share you today. Bye.